Google's new AI studio has been launched and people are going crazy over it. Some people are even saying it could replace tutorials entirely. But can it guide me through Elementor? And does it actually work perfectly? Let's find out. You can check out Google AI Studio if you want to follow along. It's free for now, but you must log in with your Google account. You can just go to the description and go there. Once you're in, head to stream real time on the left, then share our screen to see if it's up to the challenge of handling real world web design tasks. So let's get started. Let's ask it to create a new web page and insert an image carousel or slider using Elementor. This is my WordPress dashboard and I want you to help me create a new page using Elementor and add a slider to it. Sure. First, in the WordPress dashboard, can you navigate to the pages section and select add new? Now, click add new page. Now click the edit with Elementor button. This will open the Elementor editor where you can begin building your page with widgets. Great. Now that Elementor is open, you will need to add a section to start adding widgets. Yeah. What should I do now? Okay, to add a section, click on the plus sign within the dotted rectangle. Then you can choose a structure for your section. For a slider, I recommend choosing the Flexbox layout. Click on the Flexbox option, and it will add it to your page. Then, I can guide you through adding the slider widget. Now, click on the plus sign within the added section. This will open the widgets menu where you can search for the slider widget. In the search bar on the left, type slider, and then you should see the slider widget appear, which you can then drag into the section you just created. Got it. I've got two different widgets. Which one should I use? Good question. For a slider with images, choose the image carousel widget. Drag that to the section, and then you can add your desired images. What about the other slides widget? The slides widget is also a type of slider, but it offers more options for text and content alongside the images. It's ideal if you want to create more complex sliders with text overlay or multiple elements per slide. If you want to keep it simple, the image carousel is usually easier to use. Which would you prefer to try? All right, I'll use the image carousel widget. Cool, I just added the image carousel widget. Now, what should I do? Now you should see a button with a plus sign in the image carousel settings on the left side. Click that plus button to add images to the slider. Once you have added the images, you'll be able to adjust other settings such as the number of slides to show, navigation options, and much more. Can I add some padding between the images? Yes, you can. In the image carousel settings, click the style tab at the top. There you will find options to adjust the padding around the images as well as other styling settings. I cannot see the padding settings right now. What should I click on? To find the padding settings, scroll down within the style tab and you will find a section titled image. Click on the arrow next to it to expand and reveal the padding options and many other options related to styling your images. Can I add a border radius? And would it change the radius of the images specifically? Uh, okay, the AI just crashed and something went wrong here. I've tested it for quite a while now and this problem is super common. But no issue, the model is still in its experimental stage and some bugs are definitely expected. So far, it's been pretty helpful, but I want to push it a bit further and see if it can guide us through more advanced customization options. Can I change or edit the responsiveness of my page here? To do so, you can click the device icons at the top of the screen to switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views. Can I decrease the size of the slider? To do this, you can either adjust the image spacing under the Style tab, which is currently set to 20, or if the images still appear too big, you can adjust the vertical alignment settings by changing the vertical align option. Which one would you prefer to try? Let me know the best option for this. Okay, the best way to reduce the size of the slider is to try adjusting the vertical alignment first. Try using middle for vertical alignment and then see if it looks better for your tablet view. If the slider still looks too big, then try adjusting the image spacing. How does that sound? Uh, nothing worked. Image spacing does make it smaller, but it's just spacing out the images. I'm just going to publish my page now. Just after I published the page, the AI bot crashed again. Yeah, it's not perfect. And don't get me wrong, it handled a lot of the basic stuff really well. But it started to struggle when it came to more specific tasks. I mean, it gave suggestions, but nothing actually worked. For now though, it's a fun tool to experiment with, and I'm really curious to see how it grows. What do you think? Does it look promising to you? Let me know in the comments below. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.